Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the latest news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain from Jeddah today, concluding a visit during which he held talks with Deputy Custodian of the two Holy Mosques. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, which centred on strong fraternal relations and the latest regional and international developments. His Majesty was received upon his arrival by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today left Saudi Arabia, concluding a visit during which he held talks with Deputy Custodian of the two holy mosques, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the long-standing bilateral relations and regional as well as international developments. His Majesty the King was bade farewell at Jeddah's King Abdulaziz International Airport by Deputy Governor of Mecca region, His Royal Highness Prince Abdullah bin Bandar bin Abdulaziz. Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Consul General of Bahrain in Jeddah, Ibrahim Al Messimani, and members of the consulate. The Minister of Housing, Bassam bin Yaqub al Hamar, visited Dirat al Oyun housing project and affirmed the success of the partnership between the ministry and the private sector in providing a social housing system by increasing the number of projects in the kingdom. Al Hamar hailed the success of the partnership between the public and private sectors in meeting the housing demands, particularly between the ministry and Dayar al Muharraq company, which resulted in the establishment of Dirat al Oyun, one of the biggest complexes built by the private sector for the ministry. Al Hamar also noted that the ministry began cooperating with the private sector three years ago and had succeeded in providing more than 6,000 housing units in the northern city, Al Lawzi, and Dirat Al Ayun in Dayar Al Muharraq. He also added that the Mazaya program had encouraged real estate companies to build projects according to the specifications of social housing. The minister highlighted that the government has taken serious measures to facilitate the work of real estate companies in order to increase the number of projects. Bahrain Entertainment City 2017 got off to a great start at the Bahrain Exhibition and Convention Centre. More in this report with Shuk Mohammed. Bahrain Entertainment City 2017 has kicked off with a great start at the Exhibition and Convention Centre. Families are flocking to the Games Festival which came in at the perfect time this summer. The festival boasts a number of games and activities for kids of all ages and promises a fun time for the whole family. There is many games, electronic games and uh, also many games. Uh, you can see also this stage. As you see, we have uh, many plays and also there is a clown, there is uh, many things to make all fun and laugh and entertainment, uh, in addition to restaurants and uh, coffee shops. It's a start from uh, three years, uh, upper than uh, 16 years, and also all games suitable for all uh, ages and all families. Summer, no? We have not went to our country and we don't feel that we are missing it. Uh, some or the other way we are getting occupied with this such type of family entertainment program is enjoying a lot moreover otherwise bored sitting at home me too enjoying my kid is happy no so i'm too much happy is seeing his face happiness kids can grab a bite to eat and take part in the interactive stage shows and the entire festival is indoors made to beat the summer heat played a horse ride jumping bed train and I, I like to come tomorrow. This is my first time coming. I went to play with my mom and uh, my, my mom and my sister. It's so fun. I want to come every day. Uh, I'm here with the family and uh, I like the place. I think it's a very good uh, experience for the kids and uh, especially that it's in, indoors. And 
it's it's a, it's a good attraction for the tourists it's very interesting this evening i am enjoying with my family over here and my kids you see this you know this evening they are very enjoying it i like this place first time in bahrain uh, like we have games and fun stuff it's yeah, like yeah. adari but it's indoor and we're having fun i am here with my friend salah and my favorite part was the roller coaster and the scary house we're from the ministry of youth and sports affairs we came here with our organ organizing team we heard it's a great time here so we came to see what they have um, we really asked people with the, along with their family to come and join. It's a really amazing the place. Entertainment City 2017 will go on until the 8th of September here at Bahrain Convention Center and it promises fun for the entire family. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shok Mohammed.